Hey everybody and welcome to Chairman of the Board. Today I'm talking about Five Tribes. Now Five Tribes is a game by Bruno Cathala who's a very prolific game designer. Uh, I tend to like a lot of his designs and this one is kind of very kind of um, widely regarded as one of his best games. So I was very intrigued to try it out. Um, a friend of mine taught it to me and uh, I must say when I was being read the rules uh, I was pretty confused. There's a lot that seemed to be going on, loads of kind of uh, individual rules and mechanisms that was going on and uh, it was very, very overwhelming. Uh, the game takes about, I'll say about an hour to play. Take, I play two to four players and it's almost very, very abstract in its kind of design. Uh, basically, the game is um, this board of tiles, um, maybe like a five by five grid or something and all have four meeples on them of, of different colours. And all the different colours have different kind of abilities uh, assigned to them. And the, the mechanism of the game is you're going to pick up one of these uh, piles of, of meeples and move them equal space, dropping one off on the way, almost like a mancala. And where you end up is you're going to pick up all the um, meeples of that same colour that you've just dropped off. And these are going to give you kind of different abilities you can use, such as maybe having the majority of that colour at the end of the game or letting you buy these gins which give you kind of in-game abilities and uh, bonuses and stuff like that or like assassins which let you claim tiles um, if they're empty um, and, and so on but the the thing is you want to kind of um, line them up so that you're picking one up and collecting the last of those resources because you're going to place one of your camels down which kind of gets you points for kind of area control at the end of the game or just lets you claim that tile basically more than a more than an area control um, but not only are you trying to think about which meeples you're picking up, which territories you're going to be claiming, but all those tiles have a unique ability on as well. And, well, not necessarily unique, but they all have an ability on. And they let you kind of draft from a row of cards, um, which are going to kind of count for set collection at the end of the game. You're going to collect these different kind of, I think they're called fakirs, which give you kind of little bonuses as you go along. And um, even like uh, give you kind of extra bonuses or points for claiming those tiles in the first place by placing palaces or palm trees. Um, but yeah, at first, as I said, it was very, very overwhelmed by the rules explanation, probably because I'm used to kind of teaching games myself. But the more and more I played it, it was actually pretty intuitive, not too much going on. Um, this game gets a lot of kind of rap for being very um, analytic, or you can overanalyze it, very prone to an analysis paralysis. And as soon as I played it, I could completely see why. Um, it seems like no matter what you do in this game, you're kind of lining someone else up for someone else. Um, it's almost impossible to analyze because the game is constantly evolving and it's going to completely change by the time it gets back around to you. And no matter what you do, you're going to be kind of helping someone um, without realizing it. So um, I said, I'm not, a, I'm not an AP prone, prone player, but even at points in this game, I was like, oh, give me a minute. I need to kind of work this out in my head. Um, but I think if you kind of restrict yourself, give yourself a little time limit and don't overthink it, you can get a really good time out of it. Um, yeah, you don't, you don't want to play this with AP prone players because you'll be there all day. Uh, it's just so, so vulnerable to that kind of way of playing. Um, but I, I really like the way that the game works. Um, it, does, it kind of moves along really quickly. You start to kind of see opportunities that maybe other players don't. Um, trying to snap up those certain meeples, trying to get the uh, majority in certain meeples trying to get those good gods that you want because they're going to give you points as well as abilities, trying to claim those um, different tiles. It just has all the kind of stuff that you, you know, really good fun mechanisms in there. And not only like fun ones, but like thinky ones as well. So it's not like, uh, although like the game kind of feels like the choices are almost obvious you want to make, you've got to kind of be careful how you do them because as I said, you're kind of rewarding other players by doing certain different things. But yeah, I, I just enjoyed the way it ticked along. Um, it seemed to kind of sort itself out at times. And, it, and before long, uh, you can't really uh, make moves and that means the game's over. So um, it kind of lasted a very, very nice amount of time. Didn't outstay its welcome at all. Um, and you kind of get quite into it as well. Um, yeah, so the, the decisions is, are, are really nice in this one. There's, I said it's not, it's, it's as deep as you want to make it really. I, I wouldn't because of the, the the complexity of the game, I wouldn't really overthink it as much as you possibly could. Um, but yeah, the balance is good, um, even though some players might kind of just just have a no-brainer move kind of just laid on a plate for them. Um, the mechanisms are a bit different, kind of feels very abstract. Um, time, time investment is very good. It only takes about an hour or so to play, not even that, uh, which just feels just about right for this one. As I said, definitely doesn't outstay its welcome. Um, uptime... 
if you have players who aren't going to just sit there and just you know look at the ball over and over again trying to uh, you know completely optimize their move then it's going to tick along just fine and you're not going to be sitting too long out of the game but beware you probably will be um, you know having to wait a few minutes before your turn but the player interaction is, is really good um, one bit I didn't like about it is these assassins um, basically if you line up these red meeples you can pick them up and then you can either kind of kill meeples on the board or you can kill pe meeples in other players kind of um, like little collection of them like for majorities and stuff like that I, I don't like that kind of take that in the game um, I, I didn't kind of partake in that at all but I had it done to other I saw it done to other people and it just seems to rub them the wrong way and it just didn't seem to fit in for me but other than that absolutely fine I like the kind of race for the cards because some are rarer than others and you want to get them in your tableau as quick as possible um, because there's a big big end game scoring for those um, set collection aspect all the different um, all the different materials or merchandise I think it's called yeah so uh, uh, visually I say it looks pretty abstract, but it does look completely pleasant. Uh, the box art and stuff's really nice. The art on the genies or gins are really, really nice as well. Uh, component quality is absolutely up to scratch. No complaints there at all. Um, and the theme is eh, pretty much tacked on, pretty much a themeless game. But um, I like the kind of desert look, the kind of, um, I don't know what it is, is it Indian kind of theme to it? But yeah, I... Uh, I was actually pretty impressed with this game. Uh, I didn't think I would be by the original kind of explanation. I thought it was going to seem a bit convoluted, a bit fiddly, uh, too much going on, but very quickly to wrap your head around it. Oh, and something I really, I really loved about the game, one of my favourite mechanisms, and I'd love to see this mechanism in other games, is the way you bid for turn order. That is absolutely fantastic. I love that. You've got this little track of coins and you place your kind of marker on where you want to put that track on. Obviously the higher or the more expensive spots, like 12, 13 coins, whatever. Um, if you place your, place your, um, your marker on that one, you're going to have to pay that amount of coins, but it means you're going to probably go first and get those kind of more opportunistic spots straight away. Whereas if you don't have to pay anything, you're going to kind of go last, but you're saving your money, which is ultimately your end game points because uh, there's kind of one currency in this game and it's all about the money. The most money at the end of the game wins. Um, but yeah, I like the way the different meeples work. Um, as I said, I didn't like to take that on the assassin ones, but every other one seemed absolutely fine and a very viable kind of approach to play the game. Um, using you know using your kind of visual skills to snap up those opportunities to try and get those um, get those unclaimed territories is very interesting. I love the different god cards. Uh, it was it was a game that I almost the more I played it the more I was enjoying it the more kind of um, you know the opportunities I saw and I, I kind of went home thinking about it and I really do that and that kind of makes me think that I really want to play it again. Um, so. Definitely a good game. One that I'm not going to be picking up myself, but I'm certainly looking forward to playing it again. One that I would, I think a lot of people are going to like. Um, I think you can kind of teach it as a gateway, but it's going to be a bit of a struggle at first because of all the different rules on the meeples. Or, you know, kind of keeping your the gin information in your head, stuff like that. But it's not that high of a learning curve. It does seem like it at first, but once you're over it, absolutely fine. So yeah, a solid, solid game, and I can certainly see why it's so kind of revered. Um, yeah, probably one of the best Cathala games I've played. So um, yeah, definitely a recommendation for me. It's a good game. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this review of Five Tribes. Uh, if you have, please hit like and subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos too. For everyone else, I'll see you next time on Chairman of the Board. Bye.